by. So, quick little tip here. So, I um, would normally be doing rope face pulls here. You pull the rope, bam, up to your face on the cable here, right? Well, last uh, workout, I got this you know, pain in my left elbow. It was kind of pretty, you know, um, you know, miniature or small, whatever, it was pretty minute. So I went ahead and did a set, you know, whatever, still hurt all the way through. Sometimes for some reason, things will kind of hurt a little bit, warm it up, then my working set, they won't. Uh, this wasn't the case. Anyway, did them, and then I can tell my elbow's been hurting ever since, and I, you know, took a couple extra days off. This is now the fifth day. So it was like Tuesday, so I waited Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now it's Sunday, I'm training. Um, so I just was warming up again. So I went 25, 45, 65, didn't feel anything. When I got to the 85s, you know, I pulled it a couple times. I feel it, it's just this one that's bunched up here when I'm pulling. You know, everything up here, it's just when I really close off the uh, elbow there, like that. So I'm really flexing the bicep. So, I mean, it's so much better. It's healed a lot from last time. I don't know why it all, just out of nowhere, it started uh, hurting a little bit like that. But what you do, still come to the gym like I did, and still train everything else. This is the last movement. You know, it doesn't hurt anything else. Okay, so I got the 85s. I feel it now. It's a way more uh, minute than what it was the other day. I can still push through. What's it going to do? It's going to aggravate it again. So what am I going to do? What's the point of the exercise? Hit my rear delts. Going to supplement with another rear delt exercise that doesn't have any kind of arm bending. Going to do some rear delt flies. Now, I normally go, I'm, today was 12 rep goal. I'm going to load 125 pounds up on that cable pulley there and pull that. So, yes, I'm missing out on a little bit of overload, but this is a lot more, uh, well, this is probably a little more isolation on the rear delts here. Just a different, just a different exercise. You can't go quite as heavy on this exercise, but I normally do five reps and burn them out. I'm doing 40, however many reps, right? Well, I'm gonna go up to the 15s, you know, have a little more weight. I don't wanna go super heavy just cause I haven't been going heavy with them. So you just don't wanna jump up to the damn 30s just cause, well, I wanna try to max them, no. So just go up to the 15s, get, you know, have just a little more uh, tension on the muscles here and, uh, you know, keep trying to stimulate that muscle. Keep it moving, keep the health, keep the um, recovery coming on the elbow there. Um, and again, just my little tiny, minute little tweak or whatever that was, for whatever reason, on the elbow hurting a little bit. Guess what? You don't stop coming to the gym. You work around it. You don't just stop altogether because that's when you start going backwards. So I'm going to hit this set here. So just taking the 15s, nothing super heavy, but compared to what I normally do, fives, this is a you know, decent bit heavier each hand. So just got to burn them out. Good stimulation. So you saw there, what I do, less weight. So I went more intensity. Whereas when I'm doing the rope face pulls, now I'm always basically going to perfect form failure, which is, you know, very intense. Um, sometimes you now I'll pull as much as I can. If I can't get all the way back, that'll be it. Keeping perfect form failure. That, see, I started doing, you know, partial reps. Why? Because I wanted, since again, I'm not having as much tension on the muscle I want to stimulate my rear delt fibers as much as possible and I'm you know, cutting, so I want to you know what I'm saying? send the signal to my body. We need these rear delt muscle fibers to stick around basically, so that's why I just zap them like that. And now I got an amazing pump, but um, I might have like one other little accessory stuff to do, like some stuff for my health or steps like a vacuum or some uh, some rotator cuff movements and some stretches and I'm getting out of here. Just a quick tip, uh, again, don't let a little, now, something that's an injury, you know what I'm saying, injury, injury, and like if you had a serious injury, obviously like you broke your foot or something, but if it's a lot of times, say majority of the time, it's something you can work around where you don't have to completely stop working out. If this movement bothers it, well, this movement may bother it too for the same for chest, whatever. You can always find pretty, pretty much always find a movement that doesn't bother you or whatever's hurting you, whatever's aggravating you a little bit. 
And by doing that, well, you're still, you know, still coming to the gym, you're still getting the blood flowing around that muscle. Um, and it keeps, you know, so not coming to the gym is gonna actually slow down recovery. Now you wanna take more time in between sessions to help with the recovery, but you don't wanna stop coming to the gym altogether. You know what I'm saying? Just take extra two, three days off in between your training sessions that you would usually take. Um, and that's gonna keep the blood pumping through your body there. It's really gonna keep, you know, sending nutrients to that spot as well and speed up the recovery. So I'll probably wait. Um, I'm actually gonna go try some uh, kickboxing, or not kickboxing, some, yeah, kickboxing uh, Tuesday. So I think that's actually gonna be good for, again, which is a lot of, you know, no weight bearing, just bam, bam, punching, kicking stuff. So it'll be kind of, it's a cardio exercise and I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of using it for uh, recovery as well. Again, use this brain here, what's gonna make that recovery faster again. And then instead of training, you know, Wednesday or something like I normally would, I'll probably wait. Honestly, it just depends. I may, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, even Sunday, I'm, 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 I'm not, you know, it just depends how I feel. You gotta constantly monitor yourself. But as of now, probably not Saturday because of the way my work schedule thing's set up, so, or the way I'm scheduling it out. So, either Friday or Sunday. Um, and I think if I just took one extra day off before coming, the other day that this probably wouldn't have happened. So, and I didn't know, I didn't know though. It wasn't like I failed it and I knew not to come. No, I just came in the gym and I, out of nowhere it was hurting. So for whatever reason on that pool that day. So it never hurts to take an extra day of rest. It's not like you're gonna get small or you're not gonna make progress. So if you feel like your body needs it or like you're kind of debating it, just take an extra day, let your body heal more, come back in the gym, kill it. All right, everybody. I hope this tip helps. Well, I know this tip will help because it's helped me tremendously. And uh, really kind of common sense, but uh, not really common sense if you're not common to the, you don't have the experience in the gym basically. So uh, take this, add it to your arsenal, stay on the gain train, keep the gains coming.